Hi there, welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Uh, first of all, we reached uh, more than 100 subscribers, so thank you so much for your for your support. I hope we, the channel keeps growing at this rate or even faster. And um, well, let's get to the topic of today. Today we're gonna cover how to use archiving, which is a way of saving objects into a file. Remember in the last tutorial we learned how to save text into a file and retrieve it. Well now we're gonna use a more useful technique which is saving an object directly into that file and then retrieving it. So first of all let's go ahead and open Xcode and as always let's create a new project, single V application. We're gonna name it archive example. Alright. Now, a good example on how, where you would need to use archiving is with, when you have some user information you want to save. So let's go to the storyboard and we're gonna put, whoops, apparently it doesn't want to move. And it won't move. There we go. And what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh yeah. So we're going to put some fields where you can insert the user information. We're going to need three labels. So you want here, press Alt and drag to copy it directly. One here and, and one here. Now we're going to also need three text fields that run the same height. One, two, and three, and this. Change the text. It's going to be name, address, and finally font. Three typical information pieces of information we require our users to, in to input. Alright, that's it. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can input our text. And finally we, will, we are going to need a, a button so we can actually save the information. So they just put one like here we're gonna name it safe preferably in like this also it's a good idea to always keep your buttons big so let's make it at least 17 18 font size all right now open up the assistant editor and we're going to create the properties for all these fields go to the h file if you remember correctly Control drag. Uh, well, this is going to be an IV outlet called name, address, and finally phone. We are also going to need an IV action for the button, and it's going to be save info. And finally, because we're using files, if you remember from the last tutorial, uh, if you don't, I recommend you check it out. We are going to need, to need a string to save the path we're storing our files. So property, strong, anatomic, and a string, uh, file, path. All right. We're ready to go, so close the assistant editor and we can go to the implementation file. The first thing our application needs to do is when it starts, it needs to check if there's a if there's some archive already. So we need to do that in the view load method. Let's create the file manager. Again, we did this already in the last tutorial, so you should be sort of familiar with it. And if you're not, just check it out. I mean, it's a 10 minute tutorial, so it's not that much. All 
right, we need these three fields. Now we need to initialize the file manager. And as file manager, default manager, the directory path array is going to be equal to init search path for directories in domains and as document directory this is where we're storing our files and as user domain mask and yes good now finally docs directory is going to be equal to directory path zero and that a file path is going to be equal to an ns string log in it with string uh, what is it docs directory string by appending path component and now we just need to put the name of our file we're going to use user data archive you can name it whatever you want but preferably use dot archive all right now if there's already a an archive in there so if file manager finds something file exists a path that a file path we are going to retrieve the information by using an mutable array data array which is going to be equal to this is new so and is keep on our on our archiver on our archive object with file and the file is of course data file path Now we just need to set the, set the text fields. So name will be name.text. It's going to be equal to data array zero. Uh, Address.text is going to be equal to data array one. And finally, font.text data array. Alright, this would retrieve the information properly. Oops, if I don't make mistakes. Now we need to create the save info method, which is here. It's gonna be really simple, so we just need an immutable array. Because we're retrieving an array, so we need to store an array of user array. And user array is going to be equal to. Wait a second user array is going to be equal to ns mutable array log init now we have the information to it user array add object name of text and so on user array add object uh, address the text and finally the phone user array add object phone the text you guessed it uh, now in skid arch archive ver again Ar oops. Our, ah, an archiver, no, archiver. I was like, why is Xcode not filling in? Uh, archive root object, user array. This basically encodes the array so we can just put it in a file. And the file is going to be the file path. Right? This should be it, but again, every time we have some sort of text fields, it's always a good idea to hide the keyboard so it does, it's not in the way 
So since we've covered that in a tutorial already, where I'm just gonna copy paste this the code and it's going to be here hide keyboard. And we're going to hide the if we touch outside after touching the phone, which is going to be the last field. You can put it for all of them if you just put an or in here. Alright, that's this should be it. Let's go ahead and test the application. Alright, name campsite tutorials address super secret address and finally the phone number is going to be 555 one, it's a super secret phone number too alright if you go ahead and save it now you can go ahead and stop the emulator and if you run the application again you can see how it's retrieving the data and so on in there, which means it's working. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Uh, also, thank you again for the support. I'm really glad we got to the 100 subscriber mark. And hope to see you again next tutorial. Bye.